What is up you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with the Springers. I'm one of your hosts, Shanice Alicia. Very cousin Sam. What's up? Alright guys, so we're about to hop into a super cute, fun, easy hush puppy tutorial. And Sam actually made these, what, last week? Yeah, last week. And they were so good, y'all. I can't even put into words just how amazing they were. They never got like dry and crusty like how the ones in the restaurant begin. So yes, we're gonna go ahead and jump in. Not a whole lot of ingredients for this. You wanna go ahead and walk them through with you? Um, yeah, it's pretty basic. So I'm actually doing uh, shrimp hush puppies. Um, so you just got some the shrimp. Is a combination of a cilantro and diced onion mixture um, and your hush puppy mixture. Now the brand doesn't necessarily matter. Um, I know a lot of people prefer the Zatarain's brand of hush puppies. It doesn't necessarily matter because you do get to season it to your liking as well. So our seasoning today would be some parsley, onion powder, some garlic powder, pepper, as well as some Cajun seasoning. Now, Zatarain's got all the flavors, but I couldn't even tell that you didn't use Zatarain's the last time. Yeah, no, unfortunately, we have a off brand. Okay, that's okay. The off brand so be doing what it got to do. Again, once you see it in the way you need to, when you better tell the difference. Period. All right, you guys, so we're not going to drag this intro out any longer. Go ahead and get your notepads and your pens ready. Grab you something to sip on, and let's go ahead and do what, babe? Burn some pots and pans. All right. <laughs> saute our shrimp so we're just going to cut the out on about medium heat and I'm going to add a little butter not much maybe a little less than a tablespoon <laughs> shrimp starts to become fully cooked you can go ahead and either turn the heat off or down and in my case I'm going to turn it off once you turn the eye off completely if you turn it off completely you can move the pan to the back eye or to the side because the pan is still hot enough to continue slow cooking because shrimp doesn't take long to cook as all set your shrimp to the side you can go ahead and get ready to mix everything together and by everything I mean your hush puppy mix your cilantro and onion mixture your seasonings as well as the water and egg that you'll be adding to your hush puppy mix question hmm? so if people do not like the strength of cilantro because it can be overpowering can they substitute with something else uh, absolutely if you want to chop up some bell peppers you can um, I would say parsley, but parsley doesn't necessarily add flavor, so to speak. Um, the cilantro, I more so added in just to give it a little bit more of a zesty taste, so to speak. Mm, fresh. Fresh. Okay. <laughs> mm. Now, the amount of water that you add is going to be a preference um, in regarding to the thickness of your actual mix. So this is like making pancakes. Yes, great comparison. The thicker the better because um, it will be easier to make your actual hush puppies and to get them actually whole shape. See if you can get it right first time. Take it easy. Too crazy yet. So we're gonna go ahead and add our egg while we don't have too much water. Alright, and go ahead and start to mix it all up. 
so you can see if you need some more water. As you can already tell, we will need more water. So once you start to mix everything in, you'll be able to see how thin or how thick your mixture is. Ours is a little too thin, so I am just gonna add some more of the mixture to it just to thicken it back up. you get it slightly thicker as you see it's not as soupy we are also going to let it sit in the freezer so it can hold as well so don't panic but now we're going to add, and add our seasonings which will be the parsley onion powder and Cajun seasoning <music> Now that we have our mixture seasoned, we're going to go ahead and set it into the freezer for about 15 to 20 minutes to help it become more of a solid so that way it becomes easier to mold into our hush puppy form. If you have parchment paper, it's highly recommended for the helping of setting your hush puppies. Otherwise, you can just use a plate. It's not going to hurt it. So let's go. Let's go ahead and get this grease heated up so we can go ahead and fry them. The amount of grease you put in the pan is a preference because it does depend on your pan size and depth as well. Um, you want it to be coated just enough uh, to where it covers the bottom of the hush puppy so you can flip it. Tell them what you're about to do. 
Alright, so we're going to make a quick sauce to go with your hush puppies. Of course, you can vary your ingredients as you desire. But we're going to do some basics. I do not have a name for this sauce. It's just a little mixture that I play around with every now and then. Um, horseradish. Ketchup. Mayo. And the three seasonings I'm going to use today is Old Bay, Lemon Pepper, and Garlic Powder. You're gonna use very, not very little, but a little bit of the ketchup and the mayo because you want the horseradish tanginess to overseed everything that you put in here. But make sure you set the ketchup up because you know it'll be a little watery and yeah, we want all product, not water. Not too much. Get about a spoon worth of mayo. In this case, we get fork. And horseradish. Ours is a squeezable tube, so it's more so, like I said, of a taste preference. I do want it to oversee, so I will be a little heavy handed on my side. You don't have to be as heavy handed for yours. And be careful because some horseradishes are a lot stronger than others. You have been warned. You found out the hard way. Garlic powder. And lemon pepper. Love some damn lemon pepper, my boy. And mix it all up. Once you have it all well mixed and blended in, taste the test just so you know if it's to your liking. It's actually pretty good. It's not bad. And also, if you would like, we did add cilantro to the actual recipe for the hush puppies. You can, if you have any extra cilantro, add it to your sauce as well to get a little extra flavor. All right, so now we're gonna take our hush puppies and our sauce and get it all dressed up for our taste test. All right, you guys, so it is time for a taste test. Ooh! I think you need to go drizzle something sweet on there. Alright, Maybe we can start a family. Start a family. Baby. Oh. We are drinking some blueberry wine from the last episode. If you guys can remember, it's the same one. Mm. What you got? That just does something. Mm. Damn, I got hand my Big bust though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, good stuff right there. Mm -hmm. 
All right, you guys, that wraps it up for today's episode of Cooking with the Springers. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we can't wait to see you guys recreate in this dish slash appetizer. So without further ado, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to spam the comment section down below. Let us know what next you would love to see us cook. If you are not subscribed to the channel, make sure you press that red subscribe button and tap the bell so you never miss another Shanice Alicia upload. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, guys.